Hi, this is Mark Shepard, and I'm here to talk about a really key piece of information. And the reason I'm talking about it is because it comes up over and over and over again. I work with people who are looking to overcome anxiety, and it may show up as being unable to sleep. It may show up as being unable to go out in public. It, you know, there's some combination usually between a phobia, some past trauma that, you know, something that happened in the past and then the anticipation of that happening again in the future. So people come to me, they finally find me after maybe trying medication, after trying therapy, after trying whatever they've tried and nothing has worked and they're desperate and they're hurting and they're in pain and they're, they're on the edge, you know, they're just like really hurting. And then it comes time to actually commit to working with me. And one of the things I've discovered over the years is that I have to ask for payment up front. Now, not because I'm a greedy bastard. It's not about the money. It's because when people commit their money, they commit, you know? And so the reason I'm doing this video is because I had a client, a potential client who writes to me and uh, you know, he asked me if I have a money back guarantee. Now, which that to me is a red flag. If you're already thinking, literally, I mean, imagine what the guy is thinking about. He is thinking that working with me will not help him. And he's going to need that money back. You know what I mean? That's a fear. That's literally using the same thinking that is creating your anxiety to imagine not getting help. You know what I mean? And literally, anxiety is thinking about what you do not want to have happen. I say it so much. I'm, I'm almost tired of saying it. It's thinking about what you do not want to have happen. And if, you're, if that's the thinking that's causing the problem, you cannot take that thinking, as Einstein said, and use that same thinking to solve the problem. Because it's not gonna. If you're constantly thinking about what you do not want to have happen... Your unconscious mind does not get that that's not real. It thinks it's real. And so it gives you all the same biochemistry as if something really bad is happening. So if you're imagining coming to work with me and losing your money and not being any better because that's what happened in the past, then don't, don't work with me. You're not ready. You know, I don't want to take your money unless I can help you get a result. But here's the next piece. I don't fix you. I don't cure anybody. I'm a coach. I help you connect with the resources you already have. I help to show you. I kind of hold a mirror up and I say, look, this is how you're thinking and this is what it's getting you. Turn your thinking around and you'll get something else. You're still the one doing the work. And you could do that without me. You could get my, you know, home study program, Crush Anxiety, The Seven Secrets, for 47 bucks. Do the work yourself, right? But sometimes we need a coach. Sometimes we need someone to help us. And I think really, okay, so now this potential client, he wanted a money back guarantee. I said, no, it doesn't work. And I explained to him kind of what I just explained to you. So he bought my $47 program. And I guess it helped him a little bit because then he decided to go ahead and purchase four hours, you know, of my time, a four hour session. And so the idea is that I work with people from like 10 to noon and then we take a lunch break and then from one to three. Um, and that's, we get a lot done in that intensive first session. I uh, just got an email from him yesterday, uh, you know, because I, I confirmed his payment. And I'm like, good for you. You went for it, you know, and I have this date available. And he wrote back and said, well, you can't do that date. How about the following date? Okay, so I have that next date. Yeah, that's available too. Um, it's far enough ahead. It's available. Um, and so I confirmed it with him. And the only way I can hold a date is if I have his commitment in payment, right? Um, because... If I hold the date, then I can't help somebody else. Do you understand? It's not personal. <laughs> it's like, this is how it works for me. And I'm working with a lot of people, so it's not just you out there. All right. So, got an email from him yesterday. And, I don't know, he's changed his mind now. He's changed his mind 
and can he have a refund? Um, now it's two weeks to our appointment. There's plenty of, that's, yeah, sure. I'll give him a refund. Um, but I don't know if I should. And here's what I'm struggling with. If I give him the refund, you know, he goes on his way and really doesn't change, right? Is he just scared? Should I hold my ground and say, no, you committed and I'll see you on, you know, the date that I have available. I'll see you then, you know? Do I demand that he show up for his own good? I mean, not, it's like, I don't care about the money. Do you understand? It's like, do I help the guy by being firm and being a little bit of a, a hard ass? Or do I just say, you know what? Hey, you're not ready. That's fine. Bye-bye. You know, I'm not quite sure what's really in his best interest. And personally, I don't care if I help him or not. Because if I give him his money back, somebody else is going to come who's ready. You know, but maybe he is ready or maybe he needs me to say, you know what? No, put your money where your mouth is. You paid and you might as well show up and get the benefit. You know, I don't know because I care deeply about people. And in the past, it's like... It's like a kid tests you, you know, and my intention is to be helpful, is to be able to, you know, get my stuff out of the way so that I can see you clearly and, you know, help you with the resources. You're thinking this way, let's turn this around and use the same processes you're already using to create your reality, your reality to create a better reality. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And uh, I'm going to think about that. But I want you to kind of get an insight into that, that if you decide to come work with me, um, you know, I'm not here, I'm not here to uh, take your money and not give you the best service I can possibly give. I'm, I'm here to give the absolute best service I can possibly give you. I'm here to support you in any way I can because I believe in you. I mean, now here's another client. Uh, this person made a commitment to a year. She wants to lose a hundred pounds and she comes from a background that's just a tremendously challenging childhood and there's a lot to do and we're now a couple months in and you know she's showing up week after week. She paid in advance and she paid a lot more than 400 bucks in advance for a full year of coaching and she shows up. Now there are times when she gets discouraged. Because the old stuff comes up, you know, and she's now practicing applying new ways of interpreting her reality and thinking. And that takes practice. There's, there's parts of this work that, man, you get it and your life can change instantly. But there's other parts that take practice. Because for 30 years or 20 years or 10 years or however long you've been doing it, you've literally been hypnotizing yourself to experience the world the way you've been experiencing it. And it's just an opinion. <laughs> your reality is just your opinion. I have a different opinion. I believe in you. And because I've been through hell myself, my life has absolutely, I walk my talk every day. I use these tools and techniques. I used to be just quivering with anxiety about 20 different things. And every day, anxiety comes up. Every day, I, I have a choice. Every day, I can think about what I don't want to have happen. You know, like with this client who's given me his money and wants it back. I could imagine him being really pissed at me and suing me or, you know, you know, going to the attorney general and saying, I paid this guy and I didn't get my result. Remember, I can imagine that. And that's not pleasant. I would much rather give him his money back. Or I can imagine him 20, 10 years from now coming back to me and saying, you know, when you were a hard ass and you made me come into that session because you wouldn't give me a fucking refund. Um, you know what? That changed my life because no one ever called me on my crap before. No one ever believed in me enough to say, hey, you committed to showing up and I'm going to be here ready to help you whether you show up or not. No one ever said that to me. You know, maybe that's what he'll say. So I don't know. I'm playing with it right now. I don't know what I've decided. Um, and so if you have an opinion, if it's, if it's well formed, you know, if, if, you have something to say about this, please leave a comment below. I'm, and I'll read them. I'm open to, to, I may not be able to respond, but I will read them. And other people will read them too. I mean, you look at videos on YouTube of people who are struggling with anxiety and 
you know, someone has a solution, whether it's the Linden method or, you know, the Midwest center or all these different places or me. And, you know, there's the promise that, Hey, I can help you. And we have to make it enticing enough. So you'll actually be willing to check it out. Um, but the bottom line is there is no one out there who's going to fix your anxiety for you. Anxiety is a process you do. I can teach you other processes. I can, I can model for you how to stop doing what you've been doing so you can do something different and you'll get a different result. But yeah, it takes practice. It takes you showing up. It takes your commitment. It takes your willingness to apply and practice because these are mental habits. They're neurological pathways. They're branches of a tree that have been made strong by your constant use and you're starting a new branch. And you know, the way our minds work is unless you use that branch, it will be neurologically pruned. Your unconscious mind kind of goes through and stuff you don't use. You know, it's kind of like a computer. You'll get that little message. Oh, you have 25 files that you haven't looked at in two years. Do you want us to delete them? You know, but the new idea, the new way of being that needs reinforcement. It needs continuous positive attention. It needs, you know, any moment you can look this way and see what you don't want, or you can force yourself to just turn and look at what you do want to have happen. So that's my morning ramblings and I'm kind of fired up about it. I got to write this guy an email back and, um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up, um, and I'm going to give him the link, um, because it's not just, it's not just you. We all do this. I've done it too. Um, but ultimately I was in so much pain that I had to do the work. I had to commit my money and my time. Um, and there were people that helped me along the way and as best I can, I try to give as much free information out as possible to pay that forward. But ultimately my time is the ultimate limiting piece of the puzzle because I don't get it back. If I spend a day with you, I don't get a refund of that. I have a limited lifespan. I'm going to die. I'm, I'm looking at a hundred years and I'm 52. So I have less than half my life. Uh, should I spend it with you or should I spend it with someone who is ready and really ready? So ready. They're begging me to work with them here. I don't care what it costs. I need your help. I know I have to do it myself. I'm not expecting you to fix me, but I need your help. I need your guidance. I'm here to give that. Um, and ultimately I guess what I've decided is if a person's not ready, they're not ready. Um, and I don't want to be blamed for their, uh, failure and I can't take credit for their success. Um, so maybe that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, I'll, I'll post this video. I'll send the link. Um, and then if the decision is that you still want a refund, uh, I will give it. But I want to make sure that I give you every possible chance, every possible chance to really dig deep and go for it because you know what? There's no one else out there better than me. I mean, and that's not a boast. There's no one else out there any better. There may be other people as good, you know, or maybe there's someone better for you, but I do really good work. I show up, I do my work with integrity and I give it everything I have. And I actually know I'm undercharging for what I offer. Uh, and what would it be worth? What would it be worth to actually get this part of your life handled? Cause I know it's costing you income. It's hurting your career. It's hurting your relationships. It's hurting your health. All of these things. It's hurting, um, your own creativity, your own happiness. I mean, what's that worth? Is that worth 400 bucks to give it a shot? And even if something has happened in the, the week since you made the commitment and you're fine now, it's all good now. Oh, I don't need your help. I might be able to show you how to hold on to that. I might be able to show you how to help your, your kid or your partner or someone, you know, do it as well. So, or maybe you've made this change and you're fine. And maybe you want to learn 
how to help other people too. I don't know. So that's really what's going on for me today and I really appreciate you watching. Uh, and if you're interested in my Crush Anxiety program, it's at crushanxiety.com. Uh, if you're interested in learning NLP, modernjedi.com. If you're interested in working with me for hypnosis and NLP and all the other stuff I do together, hypnosisalbany.com, you know, the links will be below. So let me know what you're thinking. All right. Thanks so much.